What a mess I've made of my truckling. There's no seat. Well, here's the thing. I've decided to install my amplifier. And I needed a some, couple days of good warm weather to do this because I was pretty sure the seat would have to come out. So it wasn't bad. Two bolts on each side and it came right out. A little heavy. A couple of the... There's obstructions in the way that makes it a little difficult. But you can see I've got my RCA lines, uh, speaker lines for the dash speakers, and then my remote turn on line. You can see I've gotten my dash speakers rewired onto the uh, this 16-2 uh, speaker cord. And, uh, <coughs> and they're about ready to put the speakers in. You can see... Sorry to reposition myself, but you can see my uh, speakers right there. The whole package is a DKE, a uh, scratch that, DKE 110 for the whole speaker set. It's a MB cord, as you can see. Oh man, these are great speakers. I really like these. Anyway, those are going to get back in the dash. Got the wiring behind the head unit all done for the amp, I think. The booger of it is, I still got to drill a hole through the firewall, grommet, and run the wire over here to the amp. So, that's what I'm going to do next. Amplifier is pretty much in its position uh, under the driver's seat. Sub is setting in place. I hooked it up real quick, did a quick test, just to make sure it powered on, it powered on. Um, I quickly just grounded it there to the seat belt, but I'm going to have a proper grounding block uh, stuck to one of the seat bolts. That should be a good ground. Wire obviously is ran up under the hood. All the wiring to the CD player is complete. And the dash speakers. I got the gain for the dash speaker set and a quick sub adjustment. Um, so, so far so good. Tomorrow's going to be uh, get the dash all put back together, get extra tools out that I don't need, take good CD by the way, and then uh, give it a good vacuuming, put the seat in, make sure that it fits because I wasn't sure if this would fit with the seat. If not, I've got a kicker amplifier that I'll just install in its place. But anyway, that's all for now. The stereo in the truck lane is finished. Now, of course, this has been in there for some time, but... And my dash speaker's been installed, but I now have my amplifier. And that buzzer's, buzzer's annoying. Oh, there we go. So, I've got a... Uh, back behind the... Uh, there somewhere I got a hole drilled in the firewall with a proper grommet. Got my power wire running somewhere along here and then up under the seat. You can actually right there. Right there, that white, blue, and black wires are my audio wires and of course my remote turn on. And let's see here. What can we see under here? Yep, there's my amplifier. I'd take this whole bench seat out to get it in there, but it's in there. Got channels one and two for my uh, dash speakers. Three and four are bridged for my subwoofer. There's the back. <laughs> it's got to focus now. But there's a grounding block and my amplifier, and yes, that grounding block is held together by electrical tape. There's my sub. Again, pretty much the same system as from my black truck, which is now over there.
And look at that. I can't see it in real life, but the camera can see the scan lines of the display. How cool is that? 